Hi, this is Start 3D Modeling Channel, and in this video I will show you how to make a slot along an arc in Plasticity. Plasticity is probably the easiest 3D CAD system I have ever come across, but it is not a typical 3D CAD like FreeCAD or Fusion, and you need to approach modeling certain things a bit differently. However, I do not consider this to be a disadvantage, quite the opposite. 3D modeling in Plasticity, especially for beginners, can be much easier than modeling in FreeCAD or Fusion and to some extent, especially in conceptual modeling, can provide greater possibilities. In this video, I will try to use keyboard shortcuts extensively while modeling, so that you can see that this is also a huge advantage of working with plasticity. I will hide this model and show you how to create such slots. Let's start by creating a circle with a diameter of 200 millimeters. Select the circle drawing and as the center of the circle, select the origin of the coordinate system. To specify the diameter of the circle, press the tab key and type 200 millimeters. Now switch to the top view and select the circle drawing again. As the center of the circle, select the origin of the coordinate system and as the diameter of the circle, enter 15 millimeters. Then activate the geometry move command, that is, press the G key on the keyboard and move this circle by 70 millimeters along the X axis, that is, Press the X key and type 70. Then we will make a copy of this circle, that is press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And now we have two of the same circles in the same place. We will change the position of one of them using the rotate command. One circle is selected. Press the R key to activate the rotate command. And now the important thing, we need to change the rotation point. We want to rotate this circle relative to the origin of the coordinate system. So we press the V key and select the origin of the coordinate system as the point about which we will rotate this circle. Add a rotation by 60 degrees. Just enter this value here. We have two circles and now we will create more circles. Select draw a circle. As the center of the circle, select the point of the origin of the coordinate system and now as the second point, simply select a point on the small circle on one or the other. Similarly, draw the second circle and then select the geometry trimming command and trim the fragments of the circles. And that's how we created such a slot, easily, quickly, and most importantly, precisely. Now, based on this sketch, we will create a solid. The height of the solid doesn't matter, and I will show you how to add more copies of such a slot. We will do this using a radial array. Of course, we could have made copies of the slot at the sketch stage, but we will do it at this stage, because I want to show you that the radial array also works based on the faces of the solid. Make sure you have the face selection mode. If not, press the three key on your keyboard and then select the slot faces. You can do this by holding the shift key and selecting each face one by one or by holding the alt key and selecting only one face and the other faces will be selected automatically. Remember this when selecting geometry that connects to each other. Using the alt key instead of the shift key can make selecting geometry easier in some cases. Then select the radial array command and here we need to specify the center point of the radial array. In this case, you can specify a point on the z-axis because the z-axis lies in the center of the body. And here we have a small problem. The red color means that something is wrong, but in this case, the problem is with the number of additional copies of the slot. Reduce this number to three, for example, and everything is fine. This is how we can create such slots in plasticity As you can see, 3D modeling is very easy, and once you master the basics of plasticity, you will see how quickly you can create 3D models in this 3D CAD system. That's all for today. We'll end here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.